Hello and welcome guys, this is Jesse. Today we're going to be talking about Princess Rescue, which is basically Super Mario Bros for the Atari 2600. Now it was created by Chris Spry, aka Sprybug, an avid member of the Atari Age website. It's incredibly well done and is built using Batari Basic. What amazes me is for such a limited piece of hardware, there are fans out there keeping the system alive. And if you look at this side-by-side -side comparison of the original Pac-Man versus an improved version made by the Atari Age scene and Donkey Kong compared to Donkey Kong VCS, the original Atari is capable of pushing much more advanced graphics and audio than, than most of the game developers had shown after its release. And Princess Rescue actually received a limited physical copy release but of course, Nintendo was quick to issue a cease and desist order, so let's check it out and see it in action. So for starters, this game can be played with a Sega Genesis gamepad or an Atari stick. Using the former makes use of an additional button dedicated to running and shooting fireballs, while the latter is a more authentic experience, but you have to press up on the stick to perform the same functions. Right off the bat, you can tell that Princess Rescue features relatively advanced graphics compared to other Atari games of the 80s. Even the music is impressively recreated, although sound effects were never one of the 2600's strengths. Familiar power-ups are all here, and the flagpole is waiting at the end of the stages. Hardware limits aside, Sprybug did an amazing job to make each level feel unique and varied. There's underground areas, sky levels, and castles. You can go down pipes, and take on BJ, who is essentially Bowser. As you go on, you'll see many enemies make an appearance. You know, I could totally see this game being a legitimate release back then. Nintendo used to partner up with other platforms all the time. I still own some of the ridiculous educational Mario games for the PC. It's a shame that big companies like Nintendo are so quick to strike down such wonderful fan games like this one, but more often than not, it's the fans who deliver original ideas and take it to the next level. Thank you, Chris Spry, for making this game. The fact that you can enjoy it on Atari hardware is almost surreal. Have any of you played Princess Rescue? Are there other fan projects like this one that you would like me to cover? Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.